Hey, hey, what's up, my friends? So welcome back to today's episode where we will be discussing the top five trading mistakes, right, that you want to avoid. Okay, so mistake number one. Now, you know, with the times of, you know, social media where, you know, information is so abundant, right? Traders, they get easily carried away by trading analysis, right, from other traders. Someone might post a chart in the Facebook group, right? You know, so you might say something like, oh, I'm looking to buy because this market is in an uptrend and the hammer has just formed. And you look at the chart, oh yeah, that looks really bullish, right? Let me buy as well, right? That seems like a good trade. But here's the thing. If you were to just follow someone's opinion, someone's idea, someone's analysis, then you're doing it wrong because you're trading without a plan because that person might be a, a profitable trader. But you can be sure as hell that person is not going to tell you when they are going to exit the trade. They won't be telling you how they're going to manage the trade if it goes against them. They won't be telling you how they're going to manage the trade if it moves in their favor. Are they going to scale into their trade or scale out of their trades? Or they won't tell you right, if they change their mind or they don't want to take the trade altogether. And this is a problem, right? If you follow someone else's opinion, if you are you know, trading without a plan, then this is not trading. This is gambling, right? Because you're putting yourself at the whims of someone's uh, other someone's actions right so don't fall into this trap don't make this mistake right people can post all the charts they want post all the analysis that they want but again it doesn't mean that you have to follow them right you've got to have your own plan and trade your plan and not someone else's plan okay number two this mistake is uh basically thinking in small sample size so trading right it's uh to make money you got to think long term, right? You got to have an edge. You got to execute your trades consistently over time. This means, right, that in the short run you might have a winning system, but if market conditions are not favorable in the short run, then guess what? That winning system will go into a drawdown. That winning system, right, will produce a series of losses. And until when market conditions change and go back into your favor, then that system, right, that proven system, right, will start making money. So the lesson here is that you got to look at your trading system, right, for the long term, right? How I it has performed over the last 100 trades, the last 500 trades, the last 1,000 trades, how it has performed right, over the last 5 years, 10 years. You can't just judge right whether a system works based on 5 trades, 10 trades. doesn't make sense right? because the results are random. Right? So you need to think long term. right? You need to judge a system right based on its, uh, its uh, based on a series of trades, based on a large sample size of trades. So that's the point I want to drill. Right? Don't, don't get caught right by the uh, results of the short term. Don't get caught right by the short-term results, right, to the point where you come up with a wrong conclusion and you abandon the system, then you look for something else, you have a series of losses, you abandon the system again and you go around in this circle forever. You'll never get out of this red race. Okay, so mistake number three. Uh, so this might cause some traders to disagree, but I would say it's a mistake to be paying attention to the news, especially if you're a new trader, especially if you know, you're a trader with, you know, uh, who trades the price action of the markets. And why is that? And it's simple, right? Is that if you are a price action trader, then you have to agree, right, that the price discounts everything. You there's no way, right, to predict, right, whether the news, right, will cause the market to go up or down. For example, right now, we have the COVID issue around the world. Then we have the uh, racism issue in the US. But guess what? The US stock markets, they are still approaching the all-time highs. It's in the bull market right now. The Nasdaq's almost at the highs already. And how do you explain this based on fundamentals? Well, you can't. So this is why, as a trader, as a new trader especially, forget the news out there. Those are noise. Instead, just focus on the price because the price is what pays. If you buy something at $15 and you sell at $20, guess what? You'll make money. The price is what pays. If you buy something at $15 and you sell at $10, guess what? You lose money because the price is what matters. So focus on the price, okay? Don't get bogged down by all the news, you know, all the media out there because it will just swarm you, it will just confuse you, it will just make you frustrated, you get analysis paralysis and you end up, you know, making the wrong decisions. You end up very cluttered, okay? Number four, don't try to make X dollars a day. All right? many times traders, they have this very ambitious, but the way they, 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 they cloak their ambition is, is as though it's not ambitious at all. Say, I get this very often. Hey, Rainer, I'm not greedy, man. I'm just looking to make $20 a day to just pay my meals. Yeah, it might seem little. Yeah, $20 a day is not really a lot. But what's a lot is that the a day part, right? Consistently every day. That's asking a lot from the markets. Because here's the thing. Every trading strategy out there works only in certain market conditions to exploit certain inefficiency in the markets. 
So if you want a, to make $20 every day, that's like saying to the markets, hey, you got my, my trading strategy has to work every single day. Let me ask you, do you know of any trading strategy that works every single day? It's not that the $20 that you're asking, it's not that uh, it's a, a significant amount. It's an insignificant amount. But what you're asking, which is near impossible, is to have a trading strategy that works every single day so you can make money every single day. That doesn't work, right? Market conditions change. goes from an uptrend to a downtrend to range, yada, yada. And how do you expect a trading strategy, right, to to work in all market conditions? doesn't work that way. It doesn't happen. At least not that I've come across. Okay, so forget about the expectations of making X dollars a day. If that's what you want, get a job, not trading. And the last and final mistake number five is that traders, right, looking for the best trading strategies, indicators, and whatsoever. This is something that we covered in the previous episode as well, but again, it's so important. I know the strategies, I know the chart patterns, I know the signals. These are all the sexy stuff. But guess what, right? The stuff that matters, the stuff that makes money in the long run are proven trading concepts, trend following, mean reversion trading, uh, what else? Uh, price action trading. These are trading concepts that work. So forget about all the different strategies out there. Forget all the, about the chart patterns. Instead, immerse yourself, right, in the different type of trading methodologies that are out there in the market. For example, Warren Buffett, he's a value investor. Clearly, that works for him. Carl Icahn, he's an activist, right? He That works for him. Uh, what else? Uh, the Jim Simmons, quantitative trading, HFT, that works for him. George Soros, macro trader, that works for him. So you got to find, right, the concepts out there that work and then develop trading strategies around it. Don't jump straight into the strategies. Don't jump straight into the, the patterns or whatsoever without understanding the concept behind the strategy. All right, because... You can have a, a trading strategy, but if it's built on the wrong concept, guess what? That trading strategy is unlikely to work for long. But if you have a sound, proven trading concept, from then on, you can build multiple trading strategies across different time frames, And that, you know, makes your trading life that much easier. Okay, so quick recap. Number one, uh, don't follow the analysis of other traders, right? Because you don't know what their plan is. Number two, don't think in small sample size. Number three, don't pay attention to news. Number four, don't try to make X dollars every single day because it doesn't work that way. And number five, focus on trading concepts, not the best indicators, not the best patterns or, or whatsoever. So with that said, I've come to the end of this episode. If you've enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you soon.